Hello all, welcome to this uh, video and course on interview question and answers and this is the CAN tools and a continuation of the previous videos so this video will be like these are three different questions being asked here what do you know about Cano? what you worked in analysis tab that is in Cano? explain what you know about the measurement setup that is also in Cano. right so how your answer should be of course you would work for five years or eight years or ten years or even a one year you should know how to answer precisely all right because you you would have performed so many tasks so many operations in this uh, tool so how you should deliver so that's what the all our course you know all the contents as well so the first question right so what do you know about Cano? what do you know about Cano? Cano is a powerful software tool developed by vector informatic that is GmbH for the development testing and analysis of the automotive communication systems so of course you would be working only on testing or if you are a developer you would be working for some development activity or just for the analysis also like you would get some some logs from the tester or the vehicle tester and you would be analysis analyzing in that so maybe anything so but for all these three the cano tool is a powerful one so that you have to give as a precisely it is widely used in automotive industry for developing and testing electronic control units that is ECUs, networks and system. So obviously it is used useful in the automotive industry. Not only in auto, even in other industries also they are using to validate the CAN communication. But as we are into automotive, we are just using widely. Again, in automotive we are widely using this tool. CAN Cano provides a comprehensive environment for developing testing and even analyzing the automotive communication system including support for a wide range of communication protocols such as can lin flexray and ethernet so initially we have you know we deal with can, can only so can protocol only but nowadays we have um, uh, the tool is supporting for one thing the tool has been supporting for lin Flexray and Ethernet and even so many protocols, but these are all the majorly used protocols. It includes a flexible and customizable user interface, a very important. So of course flexible because we can we can migrate so many configurations and customizable user interface. So why am I explaining these? When you are explaining these, when you are giving these statements in your interview, you should have a answer that if someone asks you or if your interviewer asks you about the answer what you have given say for example you have given customizable user interface so they would they may note it down this particular point they'll ask like what customized you have done in your channel so you can you can tell like I have done you know the panel designs I have created some database so you can give all those like I have designed the diagnostic console window whatever it is so you can give that if you work if you not you can learn and give and that is customizable user interface advanced signal analysis and visualization tools and a range of testing and debugging capabilities with cano user can simulate a wide range of automotive scenarios including engine control transmission control and advanced driver assistance system that is adas it allows user to monitor and analyze the communication between the ecus and network as well as test and verify the functionality of the individual systems and components. And finally, Cano also includes a range of advanced features of testing and debugging, such as automotive testing and script scripting capab uh, capabilities, then diagnostics and calibration tools, and support for hill testing. So these are all the precise answers. You can you can filter. See, for example, you can just uh, crop it. For example, if you're not if you don't want to tell these. It is widely used so you can just eliminate this one you can just start with this and you can continue over here and if you are not uh, if you are not worked with any any kind of customizable or panel creation things then you can you can ignore this point but this is how you should tell you you, should, you may consider if you are not worked on adas you can skip this and you can just uh, mention the transmission control and other hill, hill testing also have been used so like this you can give so it, it is mandatory to give in this way so that your interviewer will get clear idea on what you are telling but 
even though if you are working on uh, five or six plus or ten years of experience in the cano tool but you are not delivering it properly it makes no sense that you have this much experience all right so that's why it has been given and one more thing what are the thing what are the words you are using like for example adas you would be working on adas and you are answerable for this like if some if they ask you on a second question if they ask you like okay which level you worked on adas it should be clear that you, you should be answerable that is you should you should definitely work on it so without working on something you should not tell this all right so this is the first question and your answer is like this i'll just rephrase once again by uh, skipping few uh, you know statements for example uh, what do you know about cano cano is a powerful software tool developed by the vector informati for the development testing and analysis of the automotive communication system cano provides a comprehensive environment for developing and testing automotive communication systems and protocols such as can lin flexray and ethernet with the help of cano user can simulate a wide range of automotive scenarios including engine control transmission control and hill testing scenarios then cano also include a range of advanced features for testing and development such as automated test scripts and scripting capabilities with continuous integration and continuous um, validation on a calibration tools that's it so you can just note it down and you can just frame that's it and if they ask someone ask you about the canalizer yes you can give a same but you can you have to remove something for example and here it is nothing mentioned about the uh, ecus and all like multi see here it's a communication between the ecus you can remove this point if they ask for the canalizer all right what are the tabs that you worked in canalize in analysis tab worked on in analysis tab so again as it is all about the cano so so what are the tabs you would be work so we have so many tabs right so the tab includes you can mention you can tell like yes there are so many there are several tabs in the tabs that i worked on measurement setup online offline mode then filters logging trace window graphic window data state tracker gps video and scope so what are you work you can give that's it say so for example if you work only on this this and this this enough you can give only these four on among these tabs i have worked on these four that's it so that it will be genuine and you can answer uh, with your experience so next question is measurement setup window in a cano tool the question is that's what the question is like what do you know about the measurement setup in the cano tool because as you said right so i worked on measurement setup so this is how the question will be if the interviewer wants to go in deep with your tool knowledge because there may be some few projects like that tool dependency would be more and they want a person or a candidate they have sound knowledge on the tools so here it is the answer the measurement setup window in a cano tool the measurement setup window in a cano is an important feature that allows user to configure measurement parameters and customize the display of the measurement data so measurement setup window is divided into several sections so we have three measurement configuration area number one measurement display area number two and measurement control area only these three area has been um, you know divided among the uh, several tabs in the measurement setup in the measurement so let's start with the measurement configuration area user can set up a measurement parameter such as sampling or a so if you are using these kind of terminologies yes you should know what is sampling rate so this is kind of a lead that you are giving to our interviewer uh, proving that i have a sound knowledge in the technical stuff and uh, that is a one one thing and second one is they will just start asking with the sampling rate so you can drag your interview that what are all the contents you know all right it's also another technique and that's what and as i said the first one like they'll feel like you have a sound knowledge in these tech in these technical areas so that is really great right so that's what um again user can set up a measurement parameter such as sampling rate the measurement duration and the trigger condition this section allows user to configure the various filters signal groups which helps to organize manage and the data being collected that's it then coming to measurement display area 
measurement display areas user can customize the layer of the measurement data and select the signals and data sources that they want to display the measurement display area also include various visualization tools such as graphs tables and gauges which helps user to better understanding the data being collected then the measurement control area user can start and stop the measurement process as well as pause and resume the data collection this section also includes the tools for exporting and saving measurement data as well as options for managing measurement files and folders see these three things being frank i'm telling these three things okay these are the three things that uh, you usually do in your measurement setup window but when you start to spell out these when you start to read this you you may think like this is something different that is not exist in the cano or measurement setup no it's it's not it is completely in the measurement setup and this is what the context contextual knowledge you should have because although you have a sound experience on using this tool you should you should know to you know deliver in this wrapped way so that yes you will be get good uh, you know feedback as well Overall, measurement setup window in Cano provides user with a flexible and customizable interface for configuring and managing the process, man measurement process, making it a powerful tool for developing and testing automotive communication systems. So uh, that's all about this measurement setup. But I'll just want to give a small, you know, advice. If you feel somewhere difficult to, you know, read. Or even memorize so do one thing you can just take one one point which is very much comfortable for you and um, frame as a sentence and you can deliver the reason is uh, you don't want to mug everything you don't want to memorize entire thing so you uh, although you have experience you just want to frame as proper sentence that's it all right so this is how you know our uh, course also because uh, the the course you know, the origin uh, the origin of this course is literally means like our engineers or uh, techies has no knowledge on usage of tools and usage of concept but when coming to the delivering an interview point of view they are failing a lot so the reason is yes this is what they are failing to deliver what exactly they want and what exactly it is that's it all right so that's all about this and we'll get back to you in the next video with the uh, different content on the can tools and we have different uh, concepts as well so we'll be keep on posting in uh, all the contents and with the different concepts with the latest q and days as well that's all from my and if you have queries please feel free to connect with us so we'll we'll try to give you a reply as soon as possible